Hello and welcome to the Developing Solutions with Sitecore Print Experience Manager video training series. My name is Mark Demony. I'm a technical consulting engineer with Sitecore Enablement Services. I can be reached by email, on LinkedIn, on Twitter, and I have a blog series on Sitecore.net in the technical blogs all about Sitecore Print Experience Manager. This video series is meant to educate Sitecore developers on all aspects of developing PXM projects, as well as containing optional sections on advanced PXM development, including server-based solutions. The target audience of this course is developers, and as a prerequisite, you should be intimately familiar with Sitecore and .NET development. For the agenda, first we'll get into the project background, so understanding an example use case. For this, we'll be using two things. We'll be using Launch Sitecore as the source of our content that will be used in the PXM project, as well as a book design which we'll be outputting the content into. We'll then cover the PXM core concepts, including architecture, and then we'll go through the steps of implementing the PXM project. Our basic objective is to use development skills common to most PXM projects in order to do a simple PXM output. Lastly, we'll take those core concepts and that same project and we'll extend this to advanced PXM development concepts, including things like flows and tables of contents and InDesign repeaters. So to further expand on those areas, for understanding core concepts, first we're going to look at a number of common use cases. So this includes various aspects in which you can use PXM to automate print output or make those print authoring tasks easier for your InDesign designers. Next, we'll look at Print Experience Manager and its interfaces. We'll describe where PXM items are stored in the Sitecore repository. And we'll look at the structure of InDesign XML and how this relates to project items within Sitecore. So our basic development objectives are to use the InDesign connector to create a PXM project by importing design elements into Sitecore. Next, we'll take some of those elements and we'll create some basic XML text frame renderers to customize the output that we're sending to InDesign. Lastly, we'll look at the rich text transformations and how we translate HTML styles to styles within InDesign. For our advanced development objectives, there are really two sections. First, we'll look at creating a number of advanced renderers, such as an image renderer for a dynamic image resizing on a page. We'll look at flows, and these are an important concept for creating variable length documents. We'll look at repeaters, which are very useful for iterating through uh, structured hierarchies within Sitecore contents. We'll look at using InDesign variables to dynamically create a table of contents, which we output into our document. And we'll look at triggering the creation of a new PXM project on a workflow command within Sitecore. Lastly, there are two optional objectives using InDesign server where instead of creating PXM projects or outputting to InDesign client, we're in fact either triggering the creation of a PDF on a workflow command or using personalization to create dynamic publications on the fly within your Sitecore site. 